today is March 5th, 2015, and I was just talking about um, how I can get my ring back from Mike Tanzer. And um, so when I say that I agreed, or, you know, that I didn't want that to happen either, it wasn't that I agreed with him, because I did want him to put it in the mail to me, and um, he was refusing to do it. But the problem was, you know, was I going to file a small claims court action stating, you know, he's refusing to give me my ring, if um, he said, I'll, I'll, I'll drop it by your house. And, you know, have, then have a judge say, well, he said he would return it, so why are you filing this? You know, just because you don't want it in the mail. And, um, and then that would, you know, I couldn't explain that I had been sexually assaulted by him, so I didn't want to have to get into that entire thing. <clears throat> and I just thought, well, if he just drops it off, then that would be fine. And um, then, <clears throat> and then I started thinking too. Maybe I have a few questions to ask him about a couple of things. So, um, and I, I think it was, I was trying to figure out why he did what he had done, and um, and who he was connected to because um, because you know like. Um, he did. He had done a lot of um, shady things, and um, having a couple guys in his apartment. You know, I had been date rape drugged. Uh, I didn't know what I had been given, but I also saw a couple of guys in his apartment when supposedly there was no one else there but the, the two of us. And um, you know, then he has some person coming up to his door, giving him a visa thing. Um, so. I thought, you know, maybe I'll talk to him for a minute and see if I see what I can um, find out. Possibly, like I'll pretend to be um, pretend like nothing bothers me at all. Well, then what happened was, um, unfortunately, um, he knew too much about me and um, what his dad and these government individuals had done to me my entire childhood um, by programming me and um, forcing me to do different things for them with their code words and their triggers and um, everything, you know, or else you'll get killed or tortured or whatever. So uh, I did not think that, I did not at all think when he was going to be going over there to my house um, that I would still be in, in danger or, um, or susceptible to having any kind of problem with, with that, but um, that wasn't the case because I didn't realize how deeply the United States had brainwashed me and tortured me. Um, I wasn't thinking in, in that moment and at that time about all of the torture and what his family had done because I didn't even remember. I didn't know who he was connected to, and I wasn't able to say, if I, if I wasn't thinking about it, then I couldn't say, um, you know, I couldn't say, well, um, I know that, that they might try this and I wouldn't be thinking about it and then I might have a response I don't want to have because of, um, you know, over a decade of consistent torture and programming of me to do what they wanted me to do. So... I um, didn't think that anything sexual would happen again when he went over to my house because I had no interest in doing anything sexual with him again. And um, then when he got there, he, um, I was not on any kind of drug or um, medication or anything at the time when he showed up. So that was the only time that I was not under some kind of an, of an influence of a drug, but, um, <clears throat> but he came over and, um, did the same thing with his, um, government, um, triggers or whatever. And, um, and then inexplicably, um, I, I ended up doing the same thing that, um, that he had made me do over in his apartment when I was under the influence and he did this like stance thing and then, um, which was a whole bunch of, a series of like signals to, um, force me to do blowjobs for 
the uh, government men, which his dad had practiced multiple times and others had practiced multiple times. So it's possible that because he'd already done this a couple of times to me when I was under the influence and basically broke me down that way, um, it's possible that in my mind or in my subconscious that because of that sequence of having already um, been around him a couple of times, raped or whatever, um, that, you know, the pattern of the government had been if, if an adult man had raped me, I was supposed to pre pretend like nothing bad had happened and allow them to do it to me more. And maybe the first couple of times it was really bad and drugs and all kinds of things were involved in torture. But then if I pretended like nothing bad happened and I just allowed them to do the same thing to me the next time I saw them, um, I didn't get tortured and I wasn't under the death threats, basically, is how they worked it out. So I didn't realize that after he had already done these things to me, um, he, but his coming over to my house was going to have the same effect as what his parents and these other government men had done to me by um, forcing me to pretend like nothing was wrong and then um, knowing that my response that they had um, trained me into having would be to, um, if he gave these same signals or whatever, it would be to not resist and to immediately do whatever he wanted. And, and the next times it was without um, the shocking factor of raping me. So, you know, they'd, they'd rape me a few, several times and um, practice that. And then they'd expect me to then um, just do whatever they wanted, even if I didn't want to. Um, even if I wasn't under influence of something or I wasn't getting, like, violently raped or whatever. So, um, basically, their whole thing was <clears throat> bond to your fucked up abuser. And, um, you know, bond to the criminal who is gang raping you and torturing you. And they did that to me, um, repeatedly. So he came over and, um, I think that's why he didn't mail me the ring. He wanted an excuse to get back into my place and to try out this government, um, stuff against me again. And I didn't know it. I, I just thought it was weird that he wouldn't just return my ring by mail because I didn't want to see him again. I didn't want to be in contact with him based on what had already happened. So he um, did show up and then he did the exact, he did some of the exact same things, which I didn't recognize at the time, but in hindsight I did, of, um, of trigger words and codes to force me to do blowjob. And I did it again. And, um, and then, and I just had this horrible feeling. Like when I did it, I had a horrible feeling. And, um, then when he left, I had a terrible feeling and, um, I mean, not because he left, I was glad he left, but I just had a sick feeling to my stomach because, um, I hadn't wanted to see him again. He got into my house again and, um, with the in excuse of having to return a ring to me and then played out another sector of this whole government rape um, crimes that they had committed against me to degrade me. And um, so that made me feel extremely bad about myself. You know, I felt really bad about myself not knowing. Not knowing really why I'd done what I'd done. Because I wasn't the one with the government information, and he was. He is a government employee, and he had a lot of access to um, all kinds of records about me and history about me and what these um, people had done to me. Because his parents were involved in my life since I was a baby. And they had not just raped me, they'd raped one of, um, I, I've already explained that there are, there's more than one Dixie, you know, Dixie's my mom, but it's more than one of them. And, um, his dad, Forrest, had raped, repeatedly raped one of my, the Dixies. And, um, so then they were like raping me, they were like raping from generation to generation, but their own generations of, um, of their government men and, and sons. And, um, 
so I'm sure he just went on his way and the government gave him, you know, gave him a raise and patted him on the back and said, good job. Uh, <clears throat> but I never did see him after that because I never called him or wanted to be around him. He tried calling me from the car, his car going to, um, California and, um, and I didn't want to talk to him. And then later, um, much later, I did think, well, maybe I should just by email try to query and find out, see if I can get any information out of him. But that didn't work. No one he, um, he didn't respond. He pretty much done what he wanted to do and um, humiliated me and degraded me and had raped me, drugged me, and then tried to make it look like I was just, um, I, I cons consented or took part in that. And um, as I said, Erica Ballinger was a facilitator of that rape um, when she went to the club. And I have more information about some of the things that happened in that club and some history that goes into that um, before that even occurred, which shows that um, that entire night and event was premeditated. And um, it goes back to his parents being involved in um, forcing me to do a pole dance 